Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. Got another tutorial for you today. And we're doing the Solomon's Dragon in this tutorial. It's another modified version of the uh, Solomon Stitch. I believe this one is also called the uh, Modified Caged Solomon. So here is a quick close-up look at the pattern. I think it looks really nice. And you can incorporate uh, a three color scheme in this one. Backside looks quite interesting too. Show you that. See, I think you can wear this one either way. Quite nice. Uh, we're doing the knot and loop today, and but of course it can be easily modified for uh, buckles. So that is that. So with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I got all my paracord ready here. Just doing knot and loop for this tutorial, but this can be easily adapted for uh, you know buckles. And I've already pre-tied my stopper knot, and I will have the tutorial for this annotated at the end of the video, as usual. So I've got about two feet for the knot loop core. For my main colors, uh, as you can see, I've got red and rust, and the core is also rust. I've got about three and a half feet each for the uh, main weaving cords. And then for my accent color white, I've got about four feet. Okay. So uh, let's get started. Put the white aside for now. Start off with our core. I'm going to put it in front of our main weaving cords. I'm going to use red as my lead strand, so I'm going to have red going down the center and uh, brown or the rust on the sides. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start up top as usual, and we're going to start off with a simple Solomon stitch or Cobra stitch. Okay, so we're going to start off with the red going across like that, rust over top, and then the rust behind through the loop. So I'm sure this will be quite easy for uh, all, all those of you who are familiar with the Cobra Stitch or Solomon Stitch. I'll just say Solomon for the rest of the tutorial. Okay, so there we have our first knot. And I'm going to adjust the size of the loop. I always use my thumb like that. Okay, so now, now that we have our first knot, we're going to incorporate our accent color. So as you can see, I'm putting it in between the core here, kind of just behind like this. Take a close up. That's where we are now. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to put a few inches behind like that. Okay, so from here now, we're going to continue our um, Solomon stitch. So I'm just going to tie another stitch like this. I'm going to tighten that. Okay, so you want to push this up a little bit. See how there's a bit of a gap there? Just push it up and tighten. You'll be able to tighten it more as you uh, tie more knots. Okay, so now that we have one knot with the, uh, the white incorporated, uh, that's pretty much we're just going to continue. So whichever side uh, this is facing outwards on, like you see how this uh, white went over this cord. So whichever side it's on, uh, opposite of, you're going to weave it through again. So I'm going to put my white through the center again, like that. So as you can see, it started out on that strand. Now we're covering the uh, right strand. Okay, so we're going to feed one through. And then we're just going to do another cobra stitch. Solomon stitch, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to pull that shut like this. And pull that tight. So after each knot, you might want to kind of play with it and uh, make sure the slack is out. I kind of like to tug on this white a little bit. And that's it. So now we're on this side. You can kind of see where I'm going here. Right? So it's just. Uh, weaving the Solomon stitch, the Solomon knots, down the core, and then you're just alternating the uh, the accent color. So then now we're on this side. We're going to go over the left strand core, and then under the right, like that. Okay, and then we're just going to tie another Solomon stitch. Okay. Pull that tight. So 
as you can see, our, uh, Solomon's dragon is starting to form. So I'm just going to continue weaving down the core. That's again, you're just alternating the, uh, the white going back and forth over in between the core. And then you're going to tie a Solomon knot in between each weave. Okay, so I'm going to continue weaving uh, down the core. And uh, I'll show you how to finish it off when we get to the end. All right, so I'm just about done weaving. And to finish it off, it's very easy. You're just going to tie uh, your last Solomon knot and end it off there. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So as you can see, I've got my white fed through one last time. Tie the last knot. And one thing I did forget to mention uh, earlier in the video for sizing, um, because this is one of those bracelets um, you know, where you put strands through the core, uh, because that kind of causes the core to expand, it'll actually end up shortening the overall length of your bracelet. So for this, in this case, um, it's not a big deal because I had a bit of excess here, so I was able to adjust it. Uh, but just be aware of that, wary of that in case you're doing this with buckles. Uh, you may need to adjust your length accordingly, okay? So uh, that's about it. I'm done weaving. I'm just going to snip off the excess paracord, uh, the white here, the two on the side, and the, um, the last white bit up here. And also, as you can see, I got a bit of excess. Uh, but again, if you're doing a larger bracelet, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish off this bracelet and we'll be done. All right, and there we have it, guys. I'm done. So I snipped and singed off the excess paracord. So it looks nice and clean. Up top too. I'll give you guys one last close-up look. Really like this pattern. I uh, really like the, um, the fact that you can incorporate three colors. You know, three color schemes always look very good in my mind. So if there's anything you're unsure of, or uh, if, there, if there's anything I haven't explained clearly enough, please do leave a comment or question down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And all related videos, again, will be annotated at the end of the video. So uh, do stick around for that. And that's about it, guys. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, once again, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial. Okay? Bye.